2019, 8.05 a.m. It's just devastation. There's no need for that and no reason for it, except for somehow they sprayed aerially. And psychologically, it could look like they're threatening the pine trees with fire. I mean, if one was someone that believed that trees and forests have an innate intelligence, it looks like they're murdering them and dumbing them down and psychologically threatening them with fire. And then look at the gray devastation in the branches. I can go around. It's just not natural. Kind of looks like natural and they spray a little bit at a time and stuff, but it's a bunch of shit. And the forests do have intelligence. The, each forest is an intelligent being in itself. And each tree is, an, well, they have a collective intelligence, but also an individual intelligence. I'm pretty sure that tree is newly devastated just within the last few weeks. I don't recall a big dead tree there, and I look up here all the time. Because the hawk used to live here. Although now its tree's probably been sprayed, and it's been sprayed and DDT'd, and it's dead. Or it's left. Definitely the day, the morning that they came out here and did this. Like, there was the morning where the hawk was out here, and I was like, Hi, hawk, it's so cool! And then they came out and devastated it like this. And that was the morning when the hawk was way the hell over there, and it was, like, not a happy hawk. It was, like, it was, like, blaming me. Which is what I think that these people are trying to do. They're trying to use nonverbal signaling to blame me as if I'm the bringer of the devastation, but they are. It's the farmers and their wheat that's devastating the environment and the corn and the soy and all the industrial farming. And so they probably kicked everyone out of the garden, led everyone out of the garden, destroyed the garden, and then fought with the garden people for power. For power. And if they own the food supply, they own the population. And the old hunter and gatherer people fought back. And that's why they burned Alexandria, too, is because there probably were books, religious books, written by the hunter gatherer people fighting back against the new religion of the farmers and saying they wanted freedom and that there was real reasons for child sacrifice and in fact human sacrifice population control disease control uh, genetic factors and the farmers wanted to be supremacists and act like they were more caring more caring and so they probably invented war as a mechanism. They're like, well, we'll just have war and we'll use our beer to pay the soldiers because that's what they paid the soldiers in was beer. So basically they they basically did the same thing that church people are doing now. They got people drunk and high and fucked up and made them fight each other. And then they pretend like, you know, we deserve it because it's our free choice and God and the Bible and all this bullshit. But really, it, it's just a cover-up so that they could keep the wealth for themselves and control people. And because they're sadistic and they like to kill things, I don't think anybody really killed children because they liked to kill children except maybe the sadistic freaks. Um... I think they did it for economic reasons and genetic reasons and disease control factor and stuff like that. And I think it's still a viable thing. I still believe that we weaken our species. And it, now it looks like they're doing it deliberately. They're weakening the species, destroying the planet, making it so people can't even have babies and reproduce without their genetic lab help. It's really fucked up. That's one of my enemies. They very specifically did not cross and get out of the way until they were behind me, right? Right. <laughs> they just came cruising on up the road, and then they're like, Oh, yeah, we'll get out of the way and make sure we don't hit you once we're past you, bitch. They live right by me, right? Or they at least visit there often. So here's a good example of 
the devastation. As I was walking up the other way, I really could see it, but there's just like a long streak of dead where they killed, where they, they kill stuff so that they're in control of the food supply. Anyway, we're gonna walk up there and then take another, another one.